What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to another player pack review. We're going to be taking a look at the big time Brazilian boosters, including Romario, Neymar, and Danielson, as well as the other selection within the pack as well. Training guide, skills to give them, and of course, gameplay breakdown. Let's crack on, see how they are, and do I recommend them or not? Let's find out. So we were very lucky. We actually did get live on stream. If you missed the stream, you can check it out. We got Neymar and Romario six 10 pack spins that's what we got it is 60 spins in total for these boys and these are some clips that you will see here Neymar doing what he does best setting up Romario for a simple tap it finish and then Romario returning the favor with this clip here I definitely think that these are two brilliant cards but the builds are super important and how you play and how you set up your play style is super important so on to the training guides we're going to start with the other selection i'm just going to go briefly through these lads as you can see i've already opened and you know that i got romario and neymar and we will start with tete so this guy is down as a right wing forward he can play on the right wing only he's got standard form he's on c rating he has got double touch flip flap and soul control as well as super sub very nice card very underrated card that goes to about a 95 when you train him up with this build i'm going to show you this build here very very quickly and going through these builds very very quickly of course you can pause this i will have chapters as well if you want to come back and revisit this video you can come back and see which build you want but this is the build that we've gone for now bear in mind that every single stat you see here on this eFootball db you will also be adding a plus two if you get a good manager that has 85 plus play style proficiency so dribbling and tight possession are going to be getting a plus two boost that means dribbling is going to get a plus two with manager boost in game plan and of course speed is going to be getting plus two plus three if you've got 10 hag acceleration balance they're all going to be getting plus two it is going to be the same, of course, for Douglas Louise. Now, this is a very solid card as well with a very solid build. The build is down in the left bottom corner. There you can see passing two, dribbling six, dexterity nine, lower body strength 12, and of course, defending 11. I do like this Douglas Louise card because he's definitely one of those box to box defensive type of players that can just dominate your midfield, especially if you're chasing Neymar or, or Mario and you don't get anybody. This guy's got some really nice skills. He's got fighting spirit. He's got one touch pass, soul control, scissors faint, pinpoint cross and low loft the pass, gamesmanship. So he's kind of a variety kind of player, a utility player, whatever you want to call him. That is the build that we've gone for there. I definitely think getting that aggression up as high as you possibly can is going to be good. And it means that if you do do, do this train training guide here or this build, you won't need to worry too much about blocker and interception. Of course, there'll be an added bonus to this card if you're using him as a defensive minded player. But I definitely think that that's his strengths, right? If you want to go with a little bit more kind of uh, of an attacking option, he obviously has that in his arsenal as well, where you can get 85. And of course, you can also get to tight possession and ball control up fairly high as well. So there's two builds that you could go with there, depending on which you want to use. Similar fashion, we've got Alison Becker, who's very easy to train up. You've got 88 goalkeeper awareness, 89 reflexes and 88 goalkeeper reach. All of his stats, them stats, the main stats are going to be into the 90s. And there is the build. Two into aerial strength for his jump, even though he's tall enough. We're also going to pop 12 into goalkeeper one and eight into goalkeeper two and three simply danilo as our dmf he's going to be similar as a box-to-box -box kind of orchestrator player that can basically do it all he's got really nice defensive stats he's got speed and acceleration into the 85 mark balance and stamina is quite decent as well as the low pass and loft to pass very very nice card if you are starting off i don't think that he's kind of like up there with some of the other players we also have a build for david neres this guy's a right winger and all you need is blister and pace with this guy i do like this card obviously a few people will have different opinions on him i think he's pretty decent this is the Nello card with the with the skills i would say that Dav david neres is a good card he's got some really nice player skills of course he does have flip flap and soul control but you will need to give him double touch if he does not have double touch right and he does have a face in game as well i know a few people will ask me that so does danilo here and so does uh, David Louis or Douglas Louise. And of course, Becker obviously has a face as well, uh, but it's his old face and his old hairstyle. We also move on to Matthias Okunia. This guy is a deep line forward. I like this build that I've actually done for him here. And even though he is missing a couple of uh, skills, you will definitely need to give him one touch pass. Any player that is an attacking player that you can give one touch pass to, it's just a default. If you can give one touch pass to any of these 
you know, definitely do. But the rest of his stats are quite decent. You have his build there, 8, 0, 7, 14, and 5. That's going to give you 95 acceleration, 90 offensive awareness and balance and speed. And of course, the dribble and tight possession is all going to be in the 90s as well. This is a very, very beastly card, apart from his finishing, which is kind of a little bit of a skill gap as well. Uh, if you've got finishing under 90, it is a little bit harder to actually score, but just not by, by much. We also have Thiago Silva. And just to go through these two boys, these are probably the hidden gems in the last couple of months uh, in terms of center backs brilliant brilliant variety cards that you can just kind of have put into any situation as a destroyer obviously Thiago Silva is going to be a bit slower than most destroyer center backs but look at these stats I mean and these skills he doesn't have blocker but he has one touch pass heading low lofted pass area superiority and acrobatic clearance and with the way the game plays at the moment it's always nice to have a center back that can have a lofted pass without even touching it so this is the build that we've gone for here which is going to be 8, 8, and 12, starting with lower body area strength and then finishing with defending. That's a very, very nice card. The only stat that's not in the high 90s there or mid 90s for his defense is going to be the aggression. We also have speed at 75, which is nice, and jump and physical contact, very solid as well. And last but not least of the standard cards in this selection, we have Edor Militao. So apart from his header, which doesn't go to the 90, every other stat is going to go into the 90 that you need here, apart from defensive awareness and heading. He's got speed, jump, and stamina all in the 90s as well as tackling aggression and defensive engagement what's not to like about this card i definitely think that this Militao card is probably the pick of him if you don't get romario and neymar like genuinely look at his stats insane and his skills heading interception blocker aerial superiority sliding tackle acrobatic clearance and fighting spirit all he's missing i think is man marking from that so on to the big boys. So we will start with the Nielsen lads. And I do think that this max booster, which is agility plus two, is a little bit, uh, I won't say a letdown, but the problem with the Nielsen is obviously that you're going to have to pump in a lot of stats into his dribbling and his, or his passing if you want to kind of use him as a left midfielder. And his passing is kind of low because the rest of his stats just go super, super high. Now he does have unwavering form. He has weak foot accuracy high, which is very, very nice and an underrated thing to have as well in a card. And of course, he does have double touch and flip flap as well as soul control. And he also has scissors, feint and scotch move. One of the most skillful players in the game, kind of like Figo, kind of like being able to drift in and drift out. I've actually played with the older Nielsen card quite a lot. And his player ID and the way he handles and his behavior is very, very nice with the booster. This is the build that we've gone for here with him. And of course, obviously for the booster stats, you're going to be getting a plus four. And for every other stat, you're going to be getting a plus two. So tight possession becomes 90, lofted pass becomes 85. And then the of course speed and acceleration acceleration is going to be over 100 with the booster it's insane balance and stamina is obviously going to be getting a plus four as well so it's a really nice solid card and definitely not something to be sniffed at we also have of course the main man neymar we'll leave romario to the last and he is going to get the ball carrying plus two which is going to be speed balance dribbling and tight possession his stats are off the charts lads insane this is a brilliant version of neymar but i'm going to admit something to you guys I have not been able to use Neymar anywhere but attack him in field. And that is why we've gone for this kind of special build for Neymar. I think some people will disagree with this build based on what his stats are and his skills. He does have soul control, double touch and flip flap, which gives you ball roll if you're a good dribbler. He also has gamesmanship and cut behind and turn. But he doesn't have first time shot. Or sorry, he has first time shot, but he doesn't have low lofted pass or one touch pass. So playing him as an attack and midfielder, even though he's down as a left winger, I think is counterproductive on looking at it from like judging him on basically his stats and his base stats. But I definitely think having played in about 10, 15 games, you do need to play him attacking midfielder. And this is the build that we've gone for. I think this is going to be a beastly build. If you are struggling with Neymar, this is the build to go for, I think, and play him through the middle attacking midfielder. He just doesn't, he seems to be nerfed out wide, lads, from other wide players that I've been using, Ribery, uh, Vinicius Jr., any of those. Neymar seems to be nerfed, this left winger style Neymar. Creative playmaker Neymar is just a different breed. He just does not play well on the wings, in fairness for me. He has been nerfed, similar to Messi. I think Messi and Neymar need to play through the middle. So that's the stats that we have there with the build that we've gone. 11, 6, 4, 9, and 8. And that is going to give you a monster attack in midfielder if you give him one touch pass. That is definitely a key for him, in my opinion. Now, on to the big boy, Romario, who I think is definitely one of my favorite players ever in the game. And this card is no exception. The booster is striker's instinct plus two. And of course, we've got acceleration. We've got attack and awareness, ball control, and finishing all getting the boost. 
that means that we can have this special build of Romario here. Now, there's two builds of Romario that I have tested out and that I have actually kind of like put a lot of research in. This is the build that I've gone for. Now, the reason I've gone for this build, lads, is because I am very comfortable with dribbling on the ball and Romario runs in a lot of straight lines. There's a lot of stop start and it's a lot of manual dribbling with Romario. You don't need really ridiculous glide across the pitch style dribbling with Romario. He's more of like kind of a bloodhound, you know, who goes straight through people and is just a pest. So that's why I want his speed and acceleration and balance as high as possible, which we have with this build. And I want his finishing to be, at, you know, a 90 off the rip. Romario gets a chance in front of goal. He scores nine times out of 10. You know, it's down to user error most of the time, including when I miss chances, it's usually me that's wrong. Offensive awareness is through the roof because he's going to be... Um, because of his play style as the fox in the box, you want him in the box as often as you possibly can. And then, of course, I have all, already always said this with Romario. This card, Romario, I think goes from one level to a godly level, like a beastly, beastly level. If you give him ball roll, which you'll need to give him soul control in the additional skills. And also, on top of that, I would also be giving him one touch pass to bring others into the play. And then outside curler, which you already have, you could pair that up with long range curler. You could also give him fighting spirit if you want him to be even more aggressive. Or our track back if you want to have him a little bit more aggressive. You could still play with counter target on that. But it's a sick card, lads. One of the best cards they've ever released, honestly. And we've been very lucky with our spins. We had 90 spins left in this out of 60 we got the two boys and we got tete so we had six packs of 10 a 10 pack six 10 packs and that was it so yeah let me know what you guys think digi spin or skip it's definitely one of the best selections that they've released compared to del piero and the italian boys that they released which was a big bust in my opinion but yeah let me know what you guys think of this one don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i will talk to you in a bit peace